All right. Hey, YouTube. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. Okay, I think I have the combination of camera angle and light for this area finally down pack. And oh my gosh, you see the stress? I've had so much stress. This nail just keeps getting shorter and shorter. I broke this nail right across here on a baby toy and it just keeps getting worse and worse and I have nothing with me here to repair this. So I have a tiny little nubby. At least it still has some hollow on it. That's uh, that that's okay. That's all right. Bugging the heck out of me, but yes. Anywho, let's get to this tutorial. So I have another butterfly inspired by Alex Meximinko. I have her everything I'm going to be using in this video and her link to her Instagram in the description box below because this butterfly inspired by her is absolutely fun to do. So pretty. So yes, let's get to it. I'm going to tell you guys uh, what we have and we're just going to get to it. So I'm using again candy gel paint. Surprise, surprise. Uh, 530. I'm going to use shiny shades in town car. So this is like a clay color. And I find this is probably going to stand out better than the white that uh, is here. So I'm going to use that for the little filigree accents there. Let's see how that turns out. I have 613 for my black and the color for the butterfly's wings. I'm going to use this. 603 this oops <laughs> neon green and i also have tips and toes tips and toes gel polish i'm using a no wipe top coat and a matte wipe top coat because i find these butterflies look better in matte versus shiny that's just my opinion. And of course, a medium length cat's eye nail art brush. That's what we're going to be using. All right. So I have a little bit of my no wipe top coat here on my tile. I'm just going to set that to the side for now. And we're going to get to it. So I have one coat, not very opaque, as you can see of uh tips and toes number 038 is the white gel polish just very thin just for the background color is what i'm wanting so to load my brush here so now Going to start with a butterfly wing shape. And now to make this a little more dimensionalized, new word, dimensionalized, it's all on how you're going to angle and draw this uh, this part here is crucial so I'm gonna make this a little wider so we want to make it look like the side of this wing I hope I wasn't off frame there so the side this side of the wing because I'm gonna make it look like the one on the top here so the outer wing is a little larger and the inner wing is a little short, like um, narrow this way, because I want to make it look like this wing has been angled up a little bit. And the other one is laying flat. So we're trying to give it a little bit of dimension. I have a fluffy stuck in my gel. So it's not going to be completely symmetrical when you're drawing this. I guess that makes more sense. 
And yes, I, I have this hair right here trapped in my gel polish. I cannot pluck it out. So I do apologize. So that is what I have. So sorry about the, the light there. So a little wider on the one side and thinner on the other side. So I'm going to flash cure for about 30 seconds. And that is all I need for my color. So now with my, uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. There. <laughs> uh, I'm going to clean my brush of the color. Look at, I only have so much love you guys. I only have a little bit. Uh, my goal today is to get five more videos done today before I have to leave and go home. That's my goal. So I have very little cleanser left. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take a little dot of black. Just a little bit. Just the tiniest little bit. And I'm going to make a wash because I need this for shadowing and detailing inside the wings. All right, that should be cured enough. Okay, so I'm going to take this little wash and I'm going to shade the inside pieces of the wing here. Just around where we would put the black. So this is going to help give the wings a little more dimension. Before we go in with our color. Just like that. And now I'm also going to go on the out side here and we're going to create we're going to pre create the shadowing for the wing kind of like we did with the encrusted beetles we're just highlighting the outside and then for this one I'm going to do it just all on the outside on the left. It all depends on, you know, where you want your lighting angle to come from, per se. And I'm also going to do a little bit here in the middle for where the body's going to lay. And also a little bit like so for the antenna. So I'm going to flash cure that again. Now don't get rid of that wash in case we need to add anything anywhere. So I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to grab my black because I want the opaque black now. I'm going to get some on my brush here and work it into my bristles and get my brush all loaded. Load, load the brush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So flash cured there. So now. I'm going to line these wings, trying to keep this very dainty. Which is why it's important to load your brush bristles so that you don't have huge gobs, so that you have control over the gel paint. Because sometimes when you have huge gobs on your brush, it just has a mind of its own and goes everywhere. 
All right, oh, sorry, I was probably right off the frame there. So I have that so far. And now I'm going to line the bottom there, just like that. I'm going to do the same, too much on my brush there. Lining the other side of the butterfly wings. Bark, bark. Just like so, just like that. And then I'm going to do the body. So remembering where I placed my shadowing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead, middle of the body, tail, just like so. And I'm going to try and line up my antenna there, just like that. So now with the tip of my brush, I'm going to very, very, no pressure on the brush at all, I'm going to pull the little lines here in my butterfly wing, the little veins into the wings now. like so. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. And they don't have to be perfect or anything like that. Just enough to give those wings a little bit of detail. And then you want to fully cure that for 120 seconds in a UV lamp and I will be right back. Okay, so there's where we're at. So now I'm going to take a little more of this wash and I'm going to detail inside these sections a little more, a little darker, just because I want to, just to give our little butterfly a little more dimension. Like so, and then I'm gonna add a little bit under the body here. Just like that. When it flash cure that. Okay, so now with my candy gel paint in white, I'm gonna go in first on the border of the wings. Very, very tiny, itty bitty. Little dots of white. You can even continue them down the top of the wing here. Same with the other side. So, and then I'm going to also, I'm gonna highlight the veins that we drew. With little touches of white. Just like so. Just like so. Same thing with the other side. You 
You don't want to have too much on your brush, remember? Just very, very little. Or you get a big bloop just like that. You want to have very, very little so you're controlling that. That paint. Just like so. And I'm also going to highlight the antenna. I'm going to highlight the body as well. And add a little bit of detail highlight to the bum, just like that. And then we're going to fully cure that and matte top coat, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe this, just like so. And you can leave the butterfly like this, definitely. Looks very nice. I like these. But I'm going to, because I did this one in white, I just wanted to see what it looked like in a off-tone color. So I'm going to try it with this. This is called Town Car. And I'm going to use what's in the lid here because, just because. I just think it'll show up a little nicer or it might not. Hmm. Wipe and try that again. Comes off a little shadowy. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave it. I'll leave that part out. So, yes. So, there we go. Clean this up. Put the lid on that. Move this over here. So there you go, you can definitely just leave it without the filigree. Or you can add little splashes of it here and there just to give it a little extra something. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Click comment, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification because I am now posting every three to four days. Hit that bell and you'll know when I posted a new video. If you'd like to follow my Instagram, bc underscore jazzy underscore time. And if you'd like to follow my business page, beautiful nails by design, b double e u t i f u l, not b e a. Anywho, so I'm going to go ahead and get to another tutorial for y'all. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you all stay tuned and stay jazzy.